Chris brings such a depth of knowledge. He brings such uh, just this wealth of experience in all facets of the travel and tourism industry. But more than anything else, he also brings a great passion for the hotel that he represents, the city of Portland, and the entire state of Oregon. It's a, a style that he creates in people kind of doing what they know best. And once you do what you know best, the sky's the limit. He is one of the most outstanding uh, hoteliers in, in Oregon and in Portland. Uh, the Heathman is, is such a generous uh, corporate citizen of Portland. My favorite quality about Chris, and I think it really um, defines him as a leader and someone who stands out in the hospitality industry, is his genuine passion for customer service and for um, inviting guests to the state and to the city. I knew something was up in high school when I threw the best parties. And uh, I haven't talked about that too much, but all through college I also uh, bust and eventually bartended on what would be called maybe a, a party boat on, yeah, up in Seattle. That and my mom said I needed a job when I graduated from college. So it was a, it was a natural step. I started working as a night auditor 27 years ago and uh, fell in love with the hotel industry ever since. Quite frankly, one person along the way said to me, take what you want from me and discard the rest. And I found that really intriguing and he was totally right. He wasn't the most perfect manager, but uh, he was inspirational and every single person I've come across has been inspirational in their own right. And so I just kind of take little bits and pieces of people and put it in a blender and make it my own. Uh, several years ago, maybe seven plus years ago I joined the Oregon Tourism Commission and from there I really uh, got to see what the amazing things that all the people are doing in this great state to help promote our industry, uh, help promote the brand of Oregon and it really is inspiring. Chris is sort of known to be you know the board chair I mean he's he's very involved and I think one of the reasons that people select him for those leadership roles is because they know that um, he has that passion, but he's also very direct. You know, he's just so passionate about this place and the potential that the travel and tourism industry has. And so he was always seeking ways to just be able to unleash and unlock that potential so that we could be out there creating more jobs in rural communities throughout the state of Oregon. We're an independent hotel which means I don't have huge corporate offices uh, back east or in the Midwest. I rely on the people inside this building and I rely on the associations to help me and Orla is a key partner in that fact. I couldn't do it without my partnership with Orla. So right now they're looking at cutting edge things like the Affordable Health Care Act, workers' comp issues, all of those things are really important to me. I think part of the magic that happens when people come to the Heathman and the stories I've heard about stars and diplomats who stay here, I think part of why they love this place is because that personality comes through. Fifty Shades of Grey has a connection with the Heathman. Uh, the author apparently wrote some of the, the book there. Not that I've read it, I don't know about it. You know, soccer moms, people all over the world kind of now associate the hotel with this. And the package um, that we created had to really take bits and pieces of what the story was about. I'm not talking dinner for two in, in, in the restaurant. As I looked over at uh, Chris telling the story to these lovely ladies, their eyes were about this big as he was, I don't know what details he was giving them or if he was talking about chains or trapezes or whips, don't ask, don't tell, but uh, there was Chris talking to Bert Boyle and Mrs. Hatfield about Fifty Shades of Grey. If Chris were here and I could share anything with him, it would be just how very proud I am to be able to not only be able to call him a friend, but to have been able to have served with him in the Oregon travel and tourism industry. He's a tremendous mentor and a great coach. He's just a very, very fun guy. And an accolade like this only is deserving of somebody that really takes the hospitality industry and the property to his heart and makes it such a success story. And I'm proud to say that I'm, I'm, I'm one of his, his people that will always put him up on that pedestal and make sure that he stays up there. He's outstanding and he's just a great guy. I mean, you can't help but love Chris Erickson. I'm very humbled receiving this award and I've traveled throughout the whole state uh, with the Oregon Tourism Commission and Travel Oregon and seen the amazing things that so many people are doing throughout the state. And uh, I can't believe that I'm being recognized for this. Uh, it's really nice to be put in that category and uh, I'm very humbled and honored to receive this award.